Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation, and this is a follow-up video, I'll call it part two, about uh, doing e-chart practice navigation uh, with um, training charts on uh, Google Earth. And in part one, we introduced the concept and explained how to get this, uh, how to load this and do it. Now in that video I mentioned the standard way that when a person's new to a training chart or new to any chart and you're practicing uh, practicing or navigating you need to find out where places are you may have a place name that you need to find and I mentioned in passing in the video that the standard way to do that was to use the coast pilot for that region or the light list. You look it up in the index and then go and find it and that'll give a lat lawn or, or a description that helps you find it. However, sort of a windfall of this type of practice is the fact that we're live and online. For example, in the last exer in the exercise we did as a sample in the part one, which I'm now going to call part one, I'll go back and rename it, uh, in that part one, we did we measured the distance from one practice problem from Smith Island Light to Davidson uh, Davidson Rock Light. Now, if you're new to this part of the world, even people who live in this part of the world might not know some of these. They'll know Smith Island, but maybe not the Davidson Rock. Um, you would uh, not know where to start looking. And if you have to scan around the whole chart for something small, it might take, take a while. But look here what we can do. This is the search engine up here on the top, the normal Google search engine. So suppose we just type in there, uh, Smith Island. I, well, there we got it already, Smith Island County. You click that and then say search. Now, uh, there it is. Okay, so look at that. There's, there's a Smith Island that found it right there for us. That's kind of slick. And now, and then we went from Smith Island, um, we went to Davidson Rock, D-A-V-I-D-S-O-N, Davidson Rock, San Juan Channel, that's good enough. Search for that. Go, and there's a Davidson Rock. So there, that's a pretty easy way to find things using this method. It's a little, you don't have this necessarily when you're underway without a connection. But for practice, this is a nice feature of this, uh, this technique. The other, uh, we, I, uh, we have other problems here. Tongue, tongue point, point. That's, we have some problems using that. And you just uh, click tongue point search and there it finds you know tongue point and so on so that's a pretty nice bonus for this and just looking ahead since this seems to work pretty well instructors can do it there's you can't there's nothing you can zoom around with on any e-chart program that's quite as slick as this for just uh, even for an instructor presenting a course but so looking ahead, we there's another we have another workbook, another training workbook that uses the popular chart 1210TR, which is up here in this part of the world. And we've made one of these for this. Now this is not it's not we haven't published it yet because it's pretty tricky getting these exactly lined up because you're doing you're doing scans of old charts and so it's not exactly lined up so we have to work on this a little bit more but this one we'll have this ready and announced as soon as we can get this really fine-tuned but the same thing happens here and there's common places you look that are pr problems that are used in the Coast Guard and various other training schools like with uh, one popular place Penakese I'm not even sure that's pronounced right oh look at that Pena Wow, that's, that's it. You click that and say search, and then it finds it. So um, th that's just a bonus of this type of uh, the use of this. And again, we'll have this new one of the 1210TR done uh, as soon as we can. And I'll stop that now just, just to add on to the last one.